Hello YouTubers, beer geeks, and beer hounds alike. Bill here. We're going to do a beer review. Okay, this one is by uh, Revision Brewing Company. And it's called Haze Life. And it's a New England style hazy double. So it's a double India Pale L in New England style. And it comes in at 7.7% alcohol by volume and 42 IBUs. Um, they are from Sparks, Nevada. I've never seen this before, never, never heard of it before, nothing. Um, and this is what the can looks like. Pretty cool looking can. Um, 92420 canned on date. So it's about a month old. One day short of a month old. What a can though. Look at that. Really cool looking artwork. Um, this is the good life. Full of friends, great experiences, and super tasty haze. Highlighting mosaic and cashmere hops. This brew delivers notes of passion fruit, peach, lemon, guava over a super smooth malt, malt base. Super smooth malt base. That's actually how they worded it. That's funny. Smooth. Um, okay. Uh, nothing else on the can. Uh, let's get a crack up and see what we got here. I picked this up at Total Wine and More for like um, 16 bucks out the door for four pints. These are pints. Definitely looks like New England coming out. All right. Badass looking can. Alright. We have a, a big, creamy, silky, foamy, frothy head. Some bubbles splitting open there on the top. And um, we have a super hazy, like light orange color. Definitely a New England style. As you can see, looks good. I mean, it's not the thickest haze I've ever seen, but it's definitely, um, you're not seeing the sharpness of the light for the most part. Looks excellent. Can't really see much through it. Maybe a tiny bit on the edges right there, but pretty thick stuff. Definitely looks like a legit um, uh, New England, maybe a slightly New England light, since you can't see some through the sides. Let's get an aroma on this puppy. Oh man, right up front, just getting like uh, sweet tropical starburst candy kind of fruits floralness floral hops man this smells like candy it's super um, complex um, like Starburst candy, sweet, um, really, really yummy smelling. Oh man, whoa. Oh my god. <clears throat> wow. Um, that's crazy smelling. It, yeah, pretty much just getting like a, a 
if you just opened a pack of a, a Starburst candy and smelled it, that's what it smells like. Um, Starburst, sort of like orange, lemon, tropical uh, candy. Let's get a hit. Cheers. Yeah, the taste, the taste follows the aroma times six. Do the lacing on the glass there. Really thick. Oh, boy. Okay. Um, um, I don't know. This beer is crazy. Check it out. All right, where do I even begin with this thing? Um, the aroma is like um, Starburst candy. The taste is like Starburst candy, uh, citrusy, tropical fruits. Um, it's got a sweetness to it and a tanginess at the same time. Whoa. Mm. This beer is outstanding. Um, it's super hard to um, even begin to describe what all's going on here, but um, I would say the can pretty much describes it all. So while you're drinking this beer, if you can get it, just look at the can and that explains what it tastes like. It's crazy. Okay. Um, Definitely um, hoppy, tropical, um, candy, starburst. Oh, man. Um, guava, mango, um, a little tiny bit of grapefruit, but there's other elements like, uh, like, uh, it's almost like uh, marijuana. Yeah. It's a crazy complex beer. And um, it's totally awesome. Uh, the only way I can describe it is like a um, Starburst candy, uh, citrusy tropical fruit, uh, New England style IPA. Uh, what were the ABVs on this puppy? A 7.7. .7. There's no raw alcohol notes at all. Goes down super easy with the medium mouth feel. Um, it's, it's hoppy. It's pretty pretty darn hoppy. I've used it. It's only 42. Uh, seems higher than that, but really, that's a good thing, right? So um, I'm going to drink this down for a little bit and um, see if I can pick up anything else, and I'll be right back. Okay, we're good. Um, pretty much got the gist of this beer. It's um, it's hoppy. Um, it's got a really good malt backbone to it. It's a super well constructed um, beer, and it definitely is um, got a tanginess to it, like a grapefruit not peel but whatever is right underneath the peel that white stuff it's it's got that okay I don't know if that's from hops or from grapefruit actual grapefruit but it definitely has that character to it and um, all the other hop notes that are in there is super complex tasting and smelling uh, it's really hard to even start to describe it just like this can pretty much the same thing uh, all I can tell you is it's really awesome beer Probably one of the best beers I've ever had, and um, I've had a lot of beers. So, um, with that said, um, 
on a scale of one to five stars two and a half b and c just average uh, this puppy's getting five stars this is an awesome beer um, one of the best I've ever had so far definitely uh, unique in its own little category kind of but um this is one of the best beers I've ever had revisions you're killing it that was awesome and uh, five stars it is that's my story I'm gonna stick with that excuse me I'll have the description of this beer at the bottom of the video in the description section please like and subscribe I'd much appreciate that and this puppy gets quad horns up this thing is awesome um, it's right up there at the best Hedy Topper the Alchemist all that's you know all that good stuff it's right up there with that it's awesome and if you see it you better get it because it's gonna go fast because it, I, this went fast I noticed so uh, five stars it is and uh, we'll check you all later see ya